This year's observance and celebration of Pesach, just like every other holiday since October the 7th, is going to be markedly different. But one thing is very much the same. That is the way in which the arc of the story of the Seder begins in degradation and slavery and ultimately culminates with a sense of praise. That's the uniquely Jewish story. As much as things are challenging this year, there's also an opportunity this year to appreciate how our particular story is designed originally by God in the Exodus story in the Torah to be profoundly relatable to others, profoundly applicable by others, profoundly resourceful for people everywhere, freedom-loving people everywhere. I think that's really important for us to appreciate this year because we don't have to fight this fight alone. There are a lot of people lending their willing hearts and their hands from all backgrounds, all nationalities, all ideologies that know the difference between right and wrong. We don't have to do this alone. Take the lessons of the Passover story from the Seder about education, power of hope, about standing with the stranger and doing all we can to defend their dignity. Those lessons are shared lessons with others. We're going to stand shoulder to shoulder with fellow travelers from other faiths and other nationalities and other parts of the world. And we're going to find a way forward in order to make sure that this year's story that may start with a lot of degradation, a lot of heaviness, and a lot of difficulty will ultimately, in the coming year, please God, be a story that ends in praise and says, Lashana, Haba'a, Birushalayim, Habanuya. Next year, in a restored, renewed Jerusalem and state of Israel. Chag Pesach Sameach, Am Yisrael Chai.